let's get straight to the point. Grabs are a little different in Tekken 7. In previous games, you always had three types of grabs. But still, it's important to remember these in Tekken 7. I'll explain why later. The first step for learning throw breaking is paying attention to the opponent's arms and seeing which arm they extend. In previous games, when the left arm was extended, it was always a bomb break. Always. When the right arm was extended, it was a two break. These also have extended versions which have more range and better tracking, but they are much slower. In Tekken 7, throw breaking is a little simplified. Uh, generic throws, these are throws that every character has and they are performed by pressing either 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 4. These are broken by pressing either 1 or 2. You can mesh one all day if you really like that one button and you'll break both types of grabs. Um, but we also have command grabs and these are called command grabs because their inputs are different from generic 1 plus 3 and 2 plus 4 inputs. Some of these have the same animation like your generic throws, but they have a specific 1 or 2 break. For example, uh, Dragonov's um, Victor Clutch, this one, oh, this one, yeah. This one looks like a generic 2 plus 4 grab, but it's always a 2 break. And Reverse Victor Clutch looks like a generic 1 plus 3 grab, but it's always a 1 break. There's a bunch of throws like this in the game. That's why I recommend you to practice breaking a 1 plus 3 grab with a 1, with a 1 break and a 2 plus 4 grab with a 2 break, as if we were in Tekken Pack Tournament 2. Uh, don't be lazy, it doesn't pay off when learning throw breaking. There's also another type of command grabs. When both arms are extended, it's a 1 plus 2 break. Also, to make uh, telling a 1 grab apart from a 2 grab easier, observe the character's stance. Um, in every character's stance, the left arm is already extended slightly. And when the character does a one throw, the arm just goes even further. See how Dragonov's left arm is extended even more? And um, the right arm is extended too, but he also has to twist his torsos. Uh, torso. Uh, now, how to practice breaking throws? Uh, you're gonna go to practice mode, pick Dragonov, and set him to perform uh, forward 1 plus 4 grab, um, a forward 2 plus 3 grab, and a forward forward 1 plus 2 grab. Mind you, these throws are slightly faster than the other, thro than the, um, other throws in, in the game, but practicing with Dragon will only do you good. Um, you will be able to break even fast throws like this one, and not just slower ones. Being thorough will not uh, being thorough will make life easier in Tekken. Don't be lazy. Also, my cat is scratching the door, so give me a minute. So the first step for learning throw breaking is recognizing the arms. You're gonna start the dummy and just practice recognizing the extended arm and see the current the correct sorry the corresponding break quietly to yourself you can tell your cat or you can yell it to your neighbors i don't care uh, do not try to break the throws yet even if you're late it doesn't matter you'll get quicker at recognizing the throws the more you practice um, it's important to change the dummy regularly because each character looks different Kazuya's arms look different, uh, Xiaoyu's arms look different, etc. And I recommend you to practice distinguishing between two types of throws at a time only. Because learning three breaks at once can be very overwhelming. So 
One day practice seeing one and two grabs and the next day practice uh, seeing two and one plus two grabs. Uh, once you get comfortable, you can start inputting the correct break. Uh, don't worry if you're late and the throw isn't broken. Uh, because responding to a throw late but with the correct input is still better than just randomly guessing the correct uh, one in time. The more you practice, the faster you respond. Practice uh, these steps at both sides to make sure that you can recognize the throws from both angles. Another tip I can give you is to set the dummy to perform common throw break setups. For example, a jab into a jab into a um, throw. Or for example, Dragono players love doing a running two into a throw. Uh, because no player is going to just stand there in a real match doing throws. Uh, you should also go into real matches where you're under real pressure. Not in order to win, but just to pay attention to the opponent's arms and try to react to them. Uh, back in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, I used to practice throw breaking according to these steps, and the percentage of broken throws was higher and, and higher. I still miss throw, uh, uh, I still miss throw breaks here and there, especially when I have a bad day. But that's normal. We are humans. Uh, nobody can break every single throw, so. I wish you good luck with your training and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!